Hi there. Yesterday, Microsoft released the consumer preview of Windows 8.1. This is mainly a uh, developer release for, you know, testing applications and whatnot, but I decided to install it on my Surface Pro right away. So let's check it out and see how it works. So right now I have uh, one of the new features running. This is the new lock screen slideshow. So it's taking pictures from, uh, you know, a couple of my folders on the device. And it's doing a nice little mix. Uh, you'll see them change once in a while. But uh, that's a really cool feature. So next up we're going to show you how quickly this boots up. And you just uh, press the power button and there we are. And I'm logged in. A little bit quicker than normal Windows 8. So next we have our new start screen. And you see I have tiles of all sorts of different sizes. We have the normal wide ones, the square ones, and now I have even larger uh, square ones and very small, small ones. So you have all sorts of sizes and you can customize it and lay it out however you want. If I tap and hold, this is the new edit mode. So let's get out of there. Previously you had to like kind of tap and swipe, which was weird. And then you had to like drag it and had to unsnap and move it around. So now we tap and hold, similarly to uh, Windows Phone. And now you can see I can select multiple ones at the same time. And down here we have options. And there's your resize option. And we can change it like so. And I can select two of them at the same time and make them both. Well, that one didn't go to large. All right, only the main weather <laughs> tile can go to large. That's a uh, separate pinned. So there you go, and you see it's much easier to see that you can name these groups. Previously you had to zoom out and then right click or tap and hold on one of the groups. You can't do that anymore. You have to tap and hold on an item and then you can name the group. So different things here. So that's the customized mode and something that's not immediately discoverable on uh, the tablet mode but if you use your mouse and move it around like so <laughs> you'll see a little arrow to see all of your apps. And this is really nicely done you can choose how to sort them. Most used, date installed, name. I kind of like date installed because I see which ones are the newest. And you can search here and get to whatever app you want. That way it's kind of redundant because there's also the search bar which is totally new and really nice. So let's go back to the start. I can type the name of an app and it is immediately selected. I can hit enter and launch that. Or, and there it goes, I can hit the search charm. And we have everywhere selected, so it's going to search everything. You can change it to do settings, web, images, video files. Those are the only options. So let's search for Colby. And this is going to give us something really cool. That, uh, this is a new kind of a bin layout app. And it's giving us all sorts of search results for uh, Colby Calais. And I can uh, play music. Let's go ahead and do that. And it's jumping into the new Xbox Music app. And it's going to start playing the music. Take there we go. Time to and you can see there's uh, more results from the web, all sorts of websites here, Facebook, so lots of options, pictures, and now I'm going to snap, uh, let's snap over here, there's Xbox Music, and you see the search results have gone into a vertical scrolling. Let's go back, and the music is playing over here. And you see it's a 50-50 split view. And we can change the ratio. 
and you see the music player turns into the narrow vertical format. That's pretty nice, and this goes back to uh, horizontal scrolling. And now let's see what happens when I launch another app. How about weather? Well, look at that. That's kind of weird. It's just floating there. There's no indication of what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> it looks like a bug, but really the reason it's doing this is because I have to choose which window pane I want it to go into. So I can put it over here or I can put it over here. So you gotta choose. I'm gonna put it over here. And now the app can load. So that's kind of weird. Here we go. A little buggy there. Now my weather's loading. Something that I've been missing in using this for the past uh, couple hours or so, there's no more online integration. There's no more Facebook messaging, there's no more MSN messaging in the People Hub. There's still uh, notifications for Facebook events. I mean, Facebook notifications still show up along with Twitter, but there's no more chat and the messaging app is completely gone. So you're going to have to use Skype for uh, Windows Messenger and we hear there's going to be a Facebook app so maybe that will bring Facebook messaging back. Now let's look at the settings a little bit. Over here, uh, while we're on the start screen you can get to the personalize area and we can choose all sorts of different colors. Um, you can also choose the background. So that's going to load my desktop background. Let's go to the desktop. And let's change this. Personalize. How about the default Windows theme? And there we go. So now you see the background comes through on the start screen. And that's pretty nice, depending on what kind of background image you choose for your desktop. And you see the difference here, it blends really nicely. Another new thing is the start button is back on the taskbar in the desktop mode. So you can get to that, but I don't care because it's also over here on the charms. Um, we have some new apps here. This one's pretty nice. New uh, bin food and drink. So let's choose a recipe, and you can read it, and there's a new hands-free mode, which is pretty cool. So it says hands-free mode on, and you see the camera turned on, and I can just wave my hand, and it is giving me the instructions for this recipe. So the camera is seeing my hand, and it just goes through. So your hands can be wet and dirty and you can still read what you're supposed to do next in the kitchen. That's pretty nice. Health and fitness app for Bing. We got stuff like diet tracker, nutrition, all sorts of cool things. The photos app has been updated, but it has lost practically all of the functionality. There's no more uh, SkyDrive, there's no more Facebook, there's no more Flickr. Here, let's look at the settings, you got nothing options. It doesn't even sh it doesn't even load pictures from other folders that are set as pictures library items. This is only the default pictures uh, library. The games app is uh, looking very buggy. <laughs> See this is all squished. There we go, it's loading, and you can't see stuff down there. And uh, the friends, we lost all of our avatars. The Maps app has been updated. It still goes straight to the map with no controls or buttons, so you don't really know what you can do. So you might have to uh, do a search or swipe from the edge and you get more controls. And that gives us the location. And we see we got some good information about that. Oh, there's a Facebook button. 
and here's the browser. So it's loading the web page that I clicked on right next to the previous app that I was in. That's a pretty nice feature. Now I can also tap and hold on a link and then you see some options down here, copy link. It doesn't have the little pop-up menu anymore. But now I've got two browser windows side by side. So maybe I want to go to Facebook on this one. No problem. Now let's look at the PC settings. So there's a completely different layout here. Here's your slideshow options. You can choose folders for this, the slideshow lock screen. And we can see PC and devices options. There's the lock screen here. Display. You can change the resolution. Lots of options here. The new settings area is much more comprehensive. For the keyboard junkies, Windows X will give you a quick access to shutdown as well as lots of other great power user features. So with about two clicks you can get to all this important stuff for the power users. But on our tablet we got lots of touch friendly options too. The Windows Store has a new layout, so it looks completely different now. We see some weird angular graphics at the top, and it looks more like uh, live tiles. So that's a quick look at the Windows 8.1 preview running on the Surface Pro tablet. That's it for now. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.